Flor Hassan Nahum is with us uh, from, uh, from Tel Aviv. And uh, the question I want to ask you is, and welcome to the summit, uh, what has this, uh, this accord, what have these peace deals meant for the people of Israel? And how has it changed their perception of the region? Well, it's wonderful to be with all of you, and I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there in person. I really tried to, uh, but traveling these days is very challenging. Um, I'm here in Jerusalem, and I'm very happy to be in your conference virtually. So for Israel and Israelis, this has changed everything. For years, all we really wanted was to be accepted as a regional partner in the region. Uh, and although we have deals with Jordan and Egypt, of course, that brought regional stabilization, it never really trickled down to people uh, in terms of tourism, in terms of peer-to-peer, -peer, in terms of businesses. It basically stayed at the top. And so this, for Israelis, is a completely different piece because it's a piece that was signed by the leaders, of course, uh, you know, so diligently engineered by the Trump administration, by uh, Jason Greenblatt, who's sitting here, and Jared Kushner, and my friend David Friedman. But ultimately, it's a peace that has been achieved from uh, people to people. Uh, and this is where, um, for where our platform that we created, the UAE Israel Business Council, really became useful because we provided the infrastructure for regular people to be able to talk to each other and do business to each other and reach out to each other. And what we've seen is that people have embraced this piece, Emiratis, Israelis, Bahrainis, Moroccans, uh, with, with open arms. And that is something that I, I wasn't quite sure was the expectation, but it's certainly what's happened on the ground. Yes, and it's safe to say that peace is work in progress, Mr. Numan. And yes, uh, all the stakeholders will have to be brought on board and everyone's interests will have to be secured.